bloggers Nicole Agustin Tumale and join me as we experience the beauty of the largest city in Metro Manila, the most populous city in the Philippines, and the city of stars, Quezon City. I have lived here for 20 years and I just can't help but be proud of how much this city progressed. I'm so happy to be able to share this experience with you. So come on, let's start this journey. Quezon City offers the balance between a highly urbanized metropolis and a home of heritage sites. Quezon City was named after Manuel L. Quezon, the second president of the Philippines, and was primarily declared as the capital of the country until 1976. Quezon City is known being the center of the entertainment industry as it serves as the home of the two major broadcasting companies in the Philippines. The city is also known for its dedication to arts, sports, commerce, technology, education, and culture. The diversity of Quezon City can easily be observed at the center of the intersection of Tomas Morato and Timok Avenue, where the 11th World Scout Jamboree Memorial Rotonda is located. The monument serves as a memorial for the 20 young scouts and their four scout masters. The death of these 24 scouts still stands as the worst scouting disaster until today. The streets around the monument were named after the scouts, which are now eminent for nightclubs and bars. Yung monumento dyan sa may kamuning ng mga boy scout, yan yung nangyari nung araw na nakasakay sa desert plano. Bigla rin sila nag-crash, namatay silang lahat. Kaya ngayon, ang mga street dyan sa may kamuling pinangalan sa kanila. The area around the 11th World Scout Jamboree Memorial Rotonda is largely made up of dining and entertainment establishments. Tomas Morato Avenue is known for its large variety of restaurants, concentrated along the stretch to the southwest of the roundabout. Well, near the northeast corner was the site of the 1996 Ozone Disco Club fire. Ang Ozone Disco House dito sa May Murato ay maraming namatay dyan dahil sa nasunog ang Disco House. Ngayon, wala sa walang nakalabas sa kanila dahil nung pinubuksan nila yung pintuan, mabaliktad yung bukas nila. Kaya nagkaroon ng stampin, di ba naapak-apakan, di ba din na nakalabas, nasunog lahat, nasunog sila sa loob. The mixture of history and entertainment is genuinely astonishing, making Quezon City one of the most visited cities by foreign tourists. Quezon City also plays a massive part in the history of the Philippines. The Bantayag ng mga Bayani, or the Monument to the Heroes, bears the names of the martyrs who offered their lives to the country against the dictatorship of the former President Ferdinand Marcos. The monument commemorates all the heroes through the Wall of Remembrance, Bantayag Museum, Inang Bayan Monument, and the Bantayag Library and Archives. This historical site aims to remind and let the Filipino people better understand the dark past of the Philippines and atrocities under the Marcos regime, while also celebrating the heroes who fought for the country's democracy. Traveling through the Philippine history lane, Quezon City also has a church whose history dates back to the Philippine Revolution. The Santo Domingo Church and Convent that lies along Quezon Avenue is the sixth iteration of the Santo Domingo Church, originally located inside the walls of Intramuros, which were in shambles after World War II. The Santo Domingo Church and Convent located in Quezon City was built in 1952 until 1954 and is formally known as the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. It once served as the head mission church of Dominican missionaries that arrived in the Philippines. Ang Santo Domingo Church ay dating nakatayo sa Intramuros. Nalipat lang dito sa Quezon City katapos ng World War II. Dati nung kaya ko pang lumbas-labas, sumasama ako taong-taong sa posisyon at lubinan prayer ng ilang. Ang simbahan ng Santo Domingo ay dating kapilya na gawa sa kahoy at ito ay nakatayo sa Intramuros, Manila. 
gumuho noong 1589 at ipinatayo yari sa bato kasama ang kumbento at idinambana dito ang milagrosang Our Lady of the Rosary noong 1593, kasunog noong 1603 at muling pinatayo matapos ang sampung taon. Pagtapos ng lindol ng taong 1863, ang simbahan inisira ng bahagya. Pinagawa itong may neo-gothic na disenyo noong 1867 at huling nasira noong bombahin ito ng mga sandalong Hapones noong 1941. Matapos nun ay dito na sa Quezon City itinayo ang simbahan at ipinihayag na National Shrine of Our Lady of Rosary noong 1954. This is my home, and those are only a few of the cultural heritage and attractions we have. Once again, I am Chris Nicole Augustine Tumale, and I am representing Quezon City.